What I have here um, on my desktop is a little folder in which I've made an HTML page uh, that has an image in it and it's the usual uh, little kitten image that I use. Um, so you can see that the page is working but the problem is it's on my local computer and you can see that because it's got this file here and then the path on my computer to the, uh, to the page and that means that I can't share it with other people. So I need a way of putting it on the web. Now usually in KIB 103 we've been using the student server um, but if you're having trouble uploading to that or you just need another way to host your files Dropbox is one way that you can do that. Um, now Dropbox is a, is a website, you can also get a, a downloadable program that you can run on your computer. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this through the website today. So if you go to dropbox.com um, and you can sign up for an account there if you haven't already got one. I have got an account so I'm just going to sign in with that. And when you sign in you get a page that looks like this. Um, basically any files that you put in here you can share with other people. Um, now it's also got a photos file and a public file and the one we're interested in is the public file. The way this works is anything that you put inside this folder will be viewable on the web but the important thing is you have to put it inside the folder. Uh, so I'm going to click into there and it's got some instructions inside there on how to use it but um, I'm going to just go ahead and upload a file using this button. Um, so it's got a little advertisement there. Go away. Um, and I'm going to choose the files that I want to upload. Here it comes. Um, I want to go to my desktop, test, and I basically want to upload um, the test.html, and then I also need to upload um, the image that goes inside it. and we're done. Now, both of these files are now on Dropbox and that means that other people can see them through the web. Uh, and the way you do that is just right click on the file and then the first um, option here is to copy the public link. So if I copy that link, it'll give me the link in, the, um, in this pop-up and you can see the start of that one is HTTP and then dl.dropbox.com and then, and then some numbers and letters that points to the file. If I copy that and open a new tab on my browser here and paste that in, I should be able to see my file. Now I can see it but there's a problem and that's that the, the, uh, the photo that I uploaded is not showing. Um, and there's a pretty simple reason for that. Um, if you Remember what I originally had here, I have my test.html file and then a folder called images and then inside the images I have the picture of the kitten. Um, but when I uploaded to Dropbox, I just put them in the same folder. So actually what I need to do here is add a folder, call it images, and then I need to move my kitten into the images file folder. So now I have the same sort of structure on Dropbox as I had um, on my desktop. Um, I'm just going back test. So now, that's the local one. This should be the, the Dropbox one. So if I reload it here, we should be able to see the photo. Yay, it worked. So that's how you can use Dropbox. The really important thing is that you have to go into the public, inside the public folder. If you just put in uh, Dropbox uh, files into, the, into the, the bottom of the Dropbox um, folder and then try and share that with people, it won't work. You, ha it, you have to put it inside public and then um, 
right click on it and copy that public link and that link which starts with http and then dl.dropbox.com that's what you have to send okay i hope that uh, makes sense